The Michigan Theater in Muskegon was first opened uh, September 17th, 1930. The way this theater was operated certainly was like a motion picture theater. And in those days, you uh, would have a feature length picture, but you also might have a couple of cartoons, you might have a short subject, and you would certainly have a, what was called a newsreel in those days. You'd pay 25 cents to get into the uh, box office, and in the foyer here, the foyer, you could actually stand out here and watch uh, what, was, what was ever on the screen through some glass uh, partitions. Uh, you get to the right spot, you know, the break in the action, you'd go in, you take your seat, you watch the movie. When you came to a point that you recognized, you say, ah, this is where I came in, and you left, and that's how this theater operated. In 1958, the, they looked at the theater and they thought it needed some freshening up. And so the theater was closed and it was, and it needs to be in quotations, modernized. The beautiful Spanish Renaissance Moorish interior was painted over into two shades of beige. So all of the decorative aspects of the proscenium, the monumental exit arches, uh, all the work in the ceilings and the cornice work, all, was, all of that was painted out, painted over to just be beige. Uh, the uh, chairs were changed out in the main floor of the auditorium into a more modern American seating body form chair. Uh, new carpet was laid down. They moved the box office indoors. They built a big concession stand out here in the foyer. And then the theater reopened in this new modernized sense. I think it was in 1974, the Community Foundation Board made the decision to purchase this entire block of property. That was the step, the big step, that turned the Michigan Theater Building to the Frauenthal Theater and the beginning uh, cornerstone of the Frauenthal Center for the Performing Arts. We had done quite a bit of work with Kessler and Associates and the architect uh, Edward Francis in, out of Detroit in terms of master planning and renovating the Frauenthal Theater. We brought in a woman by the name of Darla Olson who was our paint restoration an 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 analyst. She took over 250 paint samples from all over the auditorium and the foyers to identify the original colors and the original painting techniques used to apply the colors while restoring uh, and reclaiming the, the original beauty of the Michigan Theater. Also upgrading all of our lighting, sound, rigging, uh, electrical and mechanical and HVA system, HVAC systems into the present day.